So we're gonna talk about quartiles and interquartile range. So quartiles are very special percentages. And what it does is it breaks the data up into four equal parts. So think of this like a dollar. You can break a dollar into four equal parts by, a qu by quarters, right? You have one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. One quarter by itself is 25, two quarters together is 50, three quarters together is 75, and four quarters together equals a dollar or 100% of the, the thing that you're looking for. So the first quartile is the same as the 25th percentile. That means 25% of your data at the first quartile is there and below. The third quartile represents that data value and 75% of the data is below it. Excuse me. The median is called the second quartile or the 50th percentile. And that's where 50% of the data is below it or above it. So to calculate quartiles, your data has to be ordered from smallest to largest, and the quartiles order your data into quarters. Don't do this by hand. If you put all of this into your calculator and do the one bar statistics, it gives you Q1, median, and Q3 all in a row at the bottom of that, and that's your quartiles. Your inner quartile range is found by subtracting the first quartile from the third quartile. So what that represents is 50% of your data in the middle. So there's another thing that we use, and they're outliers. So there's a method for finding your outliers using the quartiles. So an outlier is a value that that is outside the normal range. It can be lower than the data, most of the values in your data set or greater than. So when you're finding outliers, you have to account for lower outliers and upper outliers. Think of it in terms of like um, football player salaries. Most football player salaries range anywhere from like 80,000 to 200,000. But then you have those people who make two to three million. Those would be outliers. It's something that doesn't really mimic the rest of the data. So the method for finding outliers is you find the first quartile and the third quartile, which you get from the, from the calculator. Then you compute the inner quartile range, Q3 minus Q1. What you do then is to get the lower outlier boundaries, you do Q1, which you've already gotten from the calculator, minus 1.5 times your IQR. 1.5 is just a standard given. So once you do that, you'll get a lower outlier boundary. And it's okay if that number is negative. A lot of times it will be. Don't let that throw you. To get the upper outlier boundary, you do Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. Again, remember that IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So any data value that is less than the lower outlier boundary or greater than is considered an outlier. So let's use the calculator for doing this. Go ahead and put these values into your calculator. Remember what you're going to do. You're going to do, excuse me, let's go ahead and I'm going to bring out my calculator and see if we can do this together. So let me get out of here. Let me go open my emulator. And then I'm going to bring this up. I really wouldn't recommend this emulator. It's kind of buggy on my part and it can drive me crazy. So I'm going to put my PowerPoint back up and then I'm going to put my emulator here. Oops, not that one. This one. Okay, so I'm going to try to put this in my calculator. So here I am. I'm going to do stats, enter, and then I'm going to do one, keep scrolling down, two, two, Three, 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 and then I'm going to do four, 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 I'm going to do five, I'm going to do six, 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 and then I'm going to do seven, comma, seven. Okay, so I have all my data in there. I'm going to hit the stat button again. I'm going to scroll to calculate. And see, it says one bar statistics. I'm going to hit enter and hit enter again. My calculator is a little different from the one I did. So if I scroll down to the bottom, 
here it is. Look, there's Q1, which is 3, the medium, which is 4, and Q3, which is 6. I need Q1 and Q3. So Q1 is 3, Q3 is 6, okay? So then, since I've gotten that, now I need to determine my, my outliers. Excuse me. So here I go. So as I said before, Q1 is 3, the median is 4, Q3 is 6. To get my IQR, I do 6 minus 3 gives me 3. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see my lower values. My lower values, there's no, okay, so I want to know for my lower values, is there any data set less than 1.5? Because I did the formula. 3 minus 1.5 times 3 equals negative 1.5. Going back to that original data set, there is no values below 1. So what I'm going to do now, let me type on this one, is, oops, for some reason it's not showing. Let me bring it up a little bit more. Oops. For some reason it's not showing my lower one, but if I go down, here it is, my upper outlier boundary, because 6 is my Q3 plus 1.5 times 3, I get 10.5. If I go back to my original data, I don't have anything above 7. So based on that, there are no outliers for this group. That's how you determine if you have outliers.